Bitmain to start selling new Ethereum mining rig model today. Despite the merge edging closer, Bitmain is releasing an Ethereum ASIC. Bitmain, the world's leading manufacturer of Bitcoin miners, will start selling a new Ethereum rig model on its website on Wednesday. Sometime today, the website was down when I checked, but even as the second biggest cryptocurrency network moves away from proof of work technology, the Chinese rig maker announced the news on Twitter Tuesday saying the time has come. I think the time has come and the time has passed and you guys are mining on it in the background because if I look at the Ethereum hash rate, it looks like somebody's been taking some rigs off and prepping them to sell it to everybody. I'm, ju I'm just saying that's what it looks like to me. Unlike Bitcoin mining, which is mostly accomplished with application specific integrated circuits, meaning chips that are tailor made for the job, Ethereum ethereum mining generally uses graphics processing units which are also utilized in other types of computing the increasing popularity of ether mining was a key factor in driving up the prices of gpus in 2021 so much so that technology company nvidia launched mining specific gpus but as ethereum moves to proof of stake mining gpu prices have significantly decreased the changeover now as the merge has been consistently delayed in the past few months. The new miner E9, as the rig is called, was revealed more than a year ago. The model get goes on sale Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 13 UTC. It is slightly more energy efficient than was detailed last year, consuming 8 joules per terahash instead of 8.5 joules per terahash. The model is equivalent to 25 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 graphics cards, Bitmain said, as opposed to 32 RTX 3080 graphics cards, which is what it promised last year. Bitmain had released another Ethereum mining rig, the E3, in 2018, but is no longer selling it on its website. And you can see here on their Twitter here, they have it posted. It's supposed to go on sale today. We're going to click and see if it's up um ant miner e9 what are we looking at we're looking at a spot price of ten thousand dollars right so what are we looking at we're looking at 20 is this correct 2400 mega hash a second we can hit the buy now does that come up okay so you can pay in bitcoin usdt usdc or usdt i don't know when shipping will happen i'm assuming immediately uh, they are available for sale, but they are at 10,000 US dollars. If we go ahead and hit what to mine up, let's go ahead and do that. What to mine. And let's go ahead and get our clocks in. So we do 2,400 mega hash. We've done this before, but let's double check. So 24 mega hash a second. Let's get zoomed in here. Plus or minus in 1,920 watts. Mine plus or minus. And so 2,400 mega hash a second at 1,900 watts and, or 1,920 watts. Calculate that out. Right now, as it sits, according to what to mine, that would be $41.75 a day in revenue on Ethereum and 20 er, $28.96 a day on Ethereum Classic with Ubeat coming in third there at $20.10. If I pull up a calculator, and then we go ahead and do that $10,000 and we divide that revenue. We'll, we'll calculate ROI based on revenue, which isn't exactly accurate with power costs. But just to get an idea, $41.75, that'd be an ROI of 239 days, which actually isn't bad if we were considering some sort of reduction or some sort of extension of Ethereum mining but I don't think that's going to happen. Plus with the difficulty bomb, just getting these shorter delays, the difficulty bomb keeps going off. So you end up like, really, this is the most profitable ETH's going to be. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse as we get closer to September. And even if they push it off further, then it'll just be another little reset. And then it'll get worse and worse and worse and worse until the next, until the next, you know, delay. So you're kind of getting very fluctuating mining revenue and I'm not sure that this is a solid buy, but if we did $10,000 uh, divided by the Ethereum Classic price, right, of $28.96, let's just say uh, $29, that's going to be an ROI of 344 days. That is less than a year on Ethereum Classic, but keep in mind 
as everybody moves off of Ethereum and they move to Ethereum Classic, unless Ethereum Classic basically discovers some sort of crazy price, you are going to be in a pickle as that difficulty inevitably increases when these ASICs pop off of Ethereum and onto Ethereum Classic. There is a lot of ifs, ands, and buts surrounding these ASIC miners, and I would be extremely cautious. Even a GPU, which is less efficient, obviously, than these ASIC miners, is going to be a safer purchase because at least you still have a plethora of other algorithms and coins to move to in the case that, like Ethereum Classic, gets overwhelmed by these ASICs. And that being said, there is going to be an Ethereum Classic firmware coming with these Antminer E9s. So we will be seeing them hit Ethereum Classic. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we're looking at for the pricing on these particular cards. And it's $4.17 per mega hash. That's what it's saying there. So, um... You know, if you have a GPU that's 417 per mega hash, I guess that's kind of what you're looking at. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.